to rethink how we eat by talking about the benefits of intermittent fasting. And now he says he's got the secret to help us all get a better night's sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here to tell yeah. us more, it's Dr. Wacker Mosley. Yeah. in the world that doesn't say they want more sleep. Well, I know, and here's the yes. bit, just four weeks, Gloria, four weeks to better I've sleep. I've got it in my dressing room already, so <laughs> I'll be awake all night reading. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I've always been a pretty bad sleeper, yeah. and um, so I seem to go to bed at a reasonable hour, particularly if I'm getting up at four to come and do this programme. Um, and I sleep heavily or quite well for maybe three or four hours, and then I'm gone. So I'm awake. Yeah. Mm. And then I'll be, you know, tossing and turning for the other two hours or whatever it is before I get up at four o'clock. Yeah, that's very and typical. Yeah. Is it? And, yeah. and why, why is that, do you think? Is it to do with what you eat before you go to bed or what? Partly, and it's partly the fact you've got into the habit. The, ah. Unfortunately, mm. um, your body has learnt that that's kind of what you do. One of the ah. things you might look at is actually exposing yourself to bright light later at night. So, so not, not expose myself or no. expose... To expose, expose yourself, yourself to bright light, to because bright if light. you were somebody who, for example, goes to bed and then struggles to go to sleep... So um, I recently took part in a big clinical trial uh, at a leading sleep centre, and we took 30 people who suffered from terrible sleep problems, some for decades, some for 20 or 30 years, and the goal of the uh, programme was to see if we could cure them in eight weeks, which we did. Wow. And these were people who had tried everything, wow. absolutely everything. And that's the basis of the four weeks so, the book, basically. So yeah. what's the process, then? You've got somebody who is a terrible sleeper. What's the yeah. process of getting them back OK, to so first path? of all, find out why. Mm -hmm. What is the problem? So what we found is that a third of them suffered from something called sleep apnea. You're familiar with this noise? Mm. Well, Denise, That's not yeah. being... Denise Welsh does that, doesn't she? So yeah. that, is, that is snoring, and then if you do this... <laughs> That is sleep apnea. And, and you know fact... oxygen coming in. You're... Yeah, yeah, basically really what happens, your brain that? goes to, blimey, and people, they're waking 20 or 30 times an hour throughout the night. And then they go... <gasps> exactly, and that, it affects yeah. about 10 million people in the UK. Wow. Mainly blokes, but women after the menopause. Right. Well, the, the other thing I was going to say, I asked a acupuncturist once, you know, could mm. he help me make uh, sleep better? And he said to me, clear your mind. Yeah. And I've come to the conclusion... Easier said than done. Yes. 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 Easier yes. said than done. But One of the techniques yeah. which really works at three in the morning is you do a slow, deep breathe, where you mm. do... Have you heard of 424? Four, four? Yeah. yeah. So from you, go... you, I learned it from you. Oh, yeah? Actually, yeah. just one thing, probably. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So you breathe in, <laughs> hold it for two, and then... And you do that for a minute or so. What it does is it slows your heart rate down, mm. and that's what triggers sleep. It does right. work. It's brilliant. Mm. I have so, to say, for me, it's been life-changing. In terms of... You know, I um, annoy everyone because I, I sleep really, really well, which I know <laughs> is really, really is annoying, annoying yeah. for everyone. Um, but when we're talking about having disturbed night's sleep, it has real consequences, oh, doesn't yes. it, on, on people's physical It basically health. affects every organ in your body, starting with your brain, so you become irritable, you become, obviously, you get hungry. Mm -hmm. People eat, on average, 300 calories more the next day, mainly crisps and biscuits. Uh, it increases your risk of dementia, depression, anxiety, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and also impotence if you're a bloke, and it um, robs your sexual drive if you're a woman. It's depressing. It is <laughs> depressing. That's why you have to read my book. Yeah. See, four weeks to better sleep and better sex. Who doesn't want that? <laughs> Better sleep and better sex. That's totally. interesting. Uh, this, is, this is one of the devices we uh, trialled uh, in the um, in big clinical trial. So this is a device which looks a little bit like a dog collar and you put it around your neck like this. Because the reason that people snore is because they're lying on their back. So what this thing does is it detects when you're lying on your back and gives you a little ee! Like that. Oh, my well, electric shock! So you then flip over to your side, That's try it on brilliant. your partner if they snore, OK? Uh, is it like can you tie it anywhere on their body? <laughs> <laughs> I think it, it's, what are you it's, trying to bring back to life? It's hey. quite big. <laughs> <laughs> it's really quite big. <laughs> <laughs> who's, got my, who's got my salmon? Can who's I just tell you really quickly? It's, it's been it, taken yeah. off. Is, is this, oh. like, seven to nine hours? I think we all get a bit panicked yeah. about that if we're not hitting that. Is, yeah. is it a bit like the two litres of water? Is that really... It's not. I mean, some people get by perfectly well on five. The main thing oh. is, do you feel tired? Do you fall right. asleep mm. during the day? Do you fall asleep in front of the telly? That's the real measure of whether you're getting enough sleep or not. Right. And if you actually fall asleep at night really fast, that's not a good thing. That suggests you're actually sleep-deprived. Exhausted. Oh, really? And, and with something like sleep apnea and, indeed, snoring, the only cure is to lose weight. 
Oh. And uh, quite a significant about 10%, because mainly it's the fact that the fat gathers around your neck and it kind of blocks your airways and your tongue falls uh -huh. back and you do that. There are things you can do, and I would strongly recommend if you hear your partner making that funny noise that you refer them to a GP yeah. because it is really, really bad for your health. Doubles your risk you of heart disease. You tie that thing in front of them, Mark. Uh, you yeah. could try this mm. thing as well, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, lots of good information. Well, Michael, you're going to stay with us yeah. uh, after the break. Uh, he's going to be delving into our shopping uh, to uncover who on the panel has the best basket. 